was good youtube it's your boy shaw here man um back with another video for y'all boys man make sure y'all stay in to the old time video i got for you today and let's get straight into it so i'm gonna talk about this today how i beat my corn edition so hear me out so i discovered the sites when i was 13 yes when i was 13 years old when I was 13, this is when I first discovered the sights and corn and planned myself. So ever since then, until I was 21, I was I was heavily planned with myself. I was a corn addict for eight consistent years. I wouldn't say eight consistent, but around 2021, that's when I started to slow up on it. But but those six years from 13 to 19, that was when I was actually an addict for real. That was when I was actually heavily playing with myself for real. And and me just playing with myself like that, me just watching the slates for eight consistent years. That's not good for real. You really think about it. It's just really crazy how you were programmed to think that doing that is good for us. I'm really thinking back at it. Like ever since I mastered no fat. Because as I'm speaking right now, I don't even get the I don't even get the urge to watch that stuff anymore. I don't even get the urge to play myself anymore. I'm glad that I mastered this. I'm glad that I had beat my addiction because to be honest, my addiction was holding me back from doing a lot of things when I was through those childhood years. I started realizing that I really could have been a different animal right now. I really could have been a different human being right now. Like, who y'all see right now, I could have been 10 times who I am right now if I didn't find out about those sites and plan myself. I would have been on a whole different, I would, I would have been different right now for real, for real. But the whole point is that me plan myself for eight years, me just wasting my life force, me just wasting my seed, my most, my sexual powerful life force for, for eight, yeah, eight, yeah, eight consistent years. Just imagine, just imagine if we all was programmed in our childhood years to retain our seed. Just imagine if we were programmed to think those sites were bad for us around 13, 14, whenever you first discovered corn. Just imagine, bro. Society wouldn't be society right now. The world wouldn't be how it is right now. Gotta realize the fact that the world, the way it is right now is because what we was programmed throughout our childhood years, like what we was programmed while we was growing up. And the majority of people was programs to think that being our lust, being controlled by lust is the right way to go. Wishing your life force power is the way to go because once you learn to control your lust, it's like, it's like basically master yourself in a way because your most, your, your lust, your sexual power, that's the most, that's very powerful and just off you control your lust, you basically find yourself in the way you basically learn to be a man. Again, because because people nowadays do a lot of things because they can't control their lust. Because lust is very powerful. Being controlled by your lust 
is being your lower self. And when you're in your lower self, you're not actually being your real self. You're not actually being how a man's supposed to be. Not, not be able to control your emotions. That's from people not taking control of their lust because Isaac had real problems with that back in the day. I used to get real mad easily. I had real anger problems. Like, I had real anger problems. I used to get mad at the smallest stuff. And, and back then, I was a wild dude. Like, even though I ain't talked a lot, but in my mind, I was crazy for real. In my mind, I was really one of like sat out a, a lot of times. And good thing I didn't. Good thing, good thing ain't go too, too left because I wouldn't be on this camera right now. I'll probably be in the jail cell. That's how bad my anger problem was. Especially when I was like a real young kid. I had real bad anger problems. I drew a chair at one of the students while I was in like the third grade around that time. It's how crazy I was. I drew a chair, a, a hard chair at one of the students because I believe, I believe he was talking about me and I ain't like what he said. And I got mad and I do the chair at him. Like, but on a serious note though, I'm glad I learned to control my lust today because if I didn't, if I didn't find out about the journey period, if I didn't find out about no fat and sinking period, I'm most likely still would have had those same anger problems today. And I wouldn't even be talking to her right now. I wouldn't, even, y'all wouldn't know me right now. So that's how deep that stuff go with controlling your lust because a lot of people nowadays crash out due to the fact that they can't control their lust because these days be moving all emotional. And when you control by your lust, we already know what happens, right? Know how that person thinks, thinks off of emotions. And, and this is how I beat my corn addiction. This is how I master no fat. The last time I did that back in May 23, yeah, 2023, 20, I gave myself a self-talk. I had to be real myself. So you already know the post not clear situation. Cause, excuse me. Cause, cause I haven't did it. The last time I did it, I was on the street on no fat. And, and the last time I did it, I really started asking myself like, dang, like, I'm not really who I, who I want to be in life right now, but but you writers want to go to the hub and just get one off. You writers want to look at these big booty ladies and get one off. What are you doing with yourself? Like, like, do you really want this for real? Cause it's people your age that that's really hustling for real. It's people your age that's actually getting to it and you just lay on your bed, just get one off. You really a loser for real. Like, I had to give myself a real talk about myself because that stuff is really some loser stuff for real. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no real dude that's really at the top for real. He ain't really doing that for real, bro. That's could be real. And me giving myself a real talk, it gave me, she had me thinking for a real minute. Because I really thought to myself, like, it's really people out here that's really getting to it. And I'm just sitting here just watching these people on pistols that I don't really know that these people don't really know me. And if I was to see people in person, these same people would walk right past me and not acknowledge me. And I'm just 
sitting in my room. This was, this was at that time. I was sitting in my room just wasting my time that I could be putting something else that could help me out. Instead, I was just watching people when the pixels go crazy and and, <laughs> and I just sat there like, it's not worth it. That, that nut, it's not worth it in the long run. Peak game. So if you're still struggling to beat your corn, your no fat addiction, this can go from semen addiction too. Always think about the after effects. Always think about the bigger picture. Not just, not just what you're gonna feel in that moment. Think about the bigger picture. Think about how you're gonna feel in the long run. You're gonna feel drained. You're gonna feel depleted. You're gonna feel weak. But in that moment, you might feel good though. But that feeling, that instant gratification feeling, is going to last for like five to ten seconds. Then after that, you won't feel like shit for. For like a day, for like a couple of days, then I was tired of that feeling. I was tired of going through that stage. I was tired of doing that for real. And I started to replace that habit with a better habit that could help me out. And, and another thing is that I'm just glad that I beat that addiction because it's like, it's like I can, it's like my brain fog is gone for real. It's like I can actually communicate to people for real. You just watching people on pixels all the time. That's not good for your mental. That's not good for your brain. So the biggest things I learned to beat my addiction is that I always think about the after effects, like the bigger picture in the longer run. And 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 maybe give yourself a real life talk about where you at in life right now. Don't lie to yourself when you do give yourself this real talk about yourself. Because I had to talk to myself about this. I had to really Go in the mirror and talk myself. It's like you're really a loser, bro. <laughs> I really call myself a loser because ain't no real person that's really getting to it for real going to be doing it for real. Sometimes it might take that. You might have to call yourself a loser. You just gotta keep it real with yourself in order to beat that addiction. You feel me? You get me? So. I'm gonna end off right here. Yeah, I actually got the idea by now of how I beat my addiction. Of I was a corn addict, I was a fapping addict. <laughs> but if you got to this point, I'm gonna say I love you, bro. Keep doing you, keep shine, keep sitting in. If you new, hit the sub button and hit the like button. Drop a comment. I ain't going off from here. Bang, type of bang dropping daily. We are family over here. It's a journey over here. You feel me? You get me? Till next video. I love y'all, man. Let's get it.